Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Assassin here, back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Living My Best Life, A Week With Friends, Palm Reading, and Michael's Hall Vlog by none other than Amberlynn Reed. So without further ado, folks, let's get to... Hello, you guys. Welcome to a new vlog. So we are starting this vlog with a Michael's haul okay so i finished my pokemon diamond painting i thoroughly enjoyed it so i wanted to get another one i'll show you guys it uh here in a little bit so i got this super cute one it's a bunch of fruit so i got this from michael's they had so many different diamond paintings there i usually only ever got mine from amazon i've only bought a few in my life and then i saw this journal and i just thought it was so adorable like that's totally my aesthetic i just love everything about that i got a thing of uh mini m ms don't come for me okay they were just like staring stare me in the face and then for my rose legos for when they're finished I need somewhere to put them, so I just got this vase. Isn't that cute? So here are my complete. And she wonders why she's not getting the kind of views that she used to. This is your content? Legos, diamond painting, a Michaels haul, journal. This is her life, you guys. This is what her life consists of. My God, girl, get a job, get a life. Seriously, this is not it. What happened to that psychology course that you were taking? What happened with that? You know, with her wanting to go back to school. Like, this is ridiculous. This is just boring. Like, it's only like 58 seconds in, and I, I'm already bored. Lego roses and baby's breath in my vase. So pretty. So I actually just have it on my island in my kitchen because I feel like I needed something right here. So I love that. Here is my completed diamond painting of the Pokemon. This was so much fun. How you You've already completed it? have a life without telling me you don't have a life where you can need you need to fill your days with with arts and crafts and legos and toys and whatnot because you literally have nothing else to film and to fill your days get a like i said before before amber and i'll say it again and it'll be a a mantra on my videos get a life and get a Get a job. Do s volunteer for fuck's sake. Do something. My God. Guys, okay, so that last clip you saw was from about six days ago. So hello. The last six days has been a dream, a whirlwind, if you will. I've had so much fun. I've spent it with old friends, new friends, family. We've all gotten together, hung out, spent time together. I have been to the gay bars, gay clubs, got my tarot reading. I literally got my palms read actually today. I have been to a couple little party get together things. I've just genuinely been having the greatest time. So I did film like a weird type of vlogging style, just like real quick, like a couple second clips because like, I just didn't want to vlog. I wanted to really just like enjoy my time. So um, I do want to show those to you guys here. So I'm gonna of course, you didn't want to vlog because the friends, in my opinion, aren't real or been, have been grossly exaggerated. In my humble opinion. 
Now I know I made an assumption before about, you know, the, the video and the photo being fit, you know, being a, basically, uh, set up. And I, now I know that it was actually taken by a legit person that's not in the Amberverse, but it's like, you know, we've been on her about this whole friend thing. And how we don't believe that she actually has friends. And this, I just don't, I don't, I don't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. The way she's talking about this whole experience, like, it, it's been a whirlwind. Like, that's a really odd way to, to describe spending time with friends. Hmm. Interesting. I do that and then I'll see you guys when you guys are all caught up. It makes me think that she spent time with her mom and maybe a friend of her mom. And she's not even going to show this friend. Does this friend not want to be seen on the channel? Are they too embarrassed to be associated with Amber Lynn? I, look, I've already heard things about this video and how they some people are just speculating it's, it's just one person. And Amber Lynn's just overly exaggerating this. Because people, you, you all are far more observant than I am. Let's just say that. So, I don't know, I, I'm just not buying what she's selling. I just, are you Amber Lynn Reed? I am. I love you. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm actually filming right now. Oh my gosh, how are you? I'm alright, I love your videos. You're so funny. Oh, you're so funny. Where are you going with Adir? I miss you though. You live here? I do. Good to see you. Hope you have a good day. Okay, see you too. Okay, that was a setup. That was a setup. Unless there is ver proof verified online of this interaction being a legit, like, interaction between a fan and her, this is a setup. Okay, and let this person is a complete stranger. Why did you kiss them? That's like literally, you don't, you don't even know this person. And you're kissing them? Girl. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I I want to see proof that uh, uh uh I want I want that person to come forward with that picture online, and and say yes. I saw Amberlynn at the at Dave and Buster's. Maybe then they can verify whether she was with friends or not. Let's see what we win, folks. I almost got 500 earlier. Oh, look at this pretty art. Okay, she, I mean, she's out and about, and I, I you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I like seeing her out and about, but I just think she's with her mom. That's what I think. Her mom and maybe a friend or something. I don't think she's with a legit friend. Because where are these friends? You would think that they would, you know, that you would see them. I don't see a hair, a hide or hair of these people. It's just Amber Lynn. Which is why I don't believe it. 
And she's going to claim, well, those friends didn't want to be filmed, so I had to film around them. Currently at a hot pot place for the first time. I'm so excited. I've actually always wanted to go to one of those places. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover right now because we're all singing happy birthday, but I just want to say personally, happy birthday, mom. Happy 55th, girly pop. Hell yeah. I just... So, yeah. I'm, I'm, this is what I'm, I'm getting. The friend is a, actually a friend of her mom's. Okay. And maybe, uh, they decide to stay with Amber. Maybe her mom could not accommodate this friend. Okay. So Amberlynn's acting like this is actually her friend. And it's a friend's weekend, but, um... It's just her and her mom and her friend and maybe the her mom's boyfriend celebrating her mom's birthday. Got a cute little dinosaur at Dave and Buster's because we ended up coming back here today. Look at her just just eating whatever she wants and. You know, whatever, like seriously, not even giving two shits about what she's putting in her body. Hmm, oh, interesting, interesting. This seems like an interesting place. Look at all those crystals. See, I like places like this. They had a place like this, um, at this vacation place. I told you guys about it before. And, uh, it was like right beside the fi the, 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 the firehouse. Why the winery the, okay that we used to go to that was actually a, also a firehouse um and they had stuff like this and there i think there was also another store as well but it was just so cool like i, I honestly like <laughs> out when i was in the middle of um class today i was like sitting there like because it was like uh, kind of a, a a moment where I already, I already knew what the information that was being put out there. It was just kind of like a review. I was just really missing that place. And I'm like, I really, really want to like schedule like, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of save money to have like a, 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 a trip this this coming summer to the, to this place. Because I really, really do miss, like, this going there and stuff like that. So I want to do, like, a whole, maybe a whole week or something like that. And, like, pay for the hotel, like, well in advance. And and plan activities and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, it's something that I, I really, really want to do. Because we, my family and I have been talking about it. So. But anyways, um... That's a may that's a, that's a maybe, but um, yeah, just seeing place seeing this place just makes me really nostalgic. Care of yourself, and then the chariot. So now that you're caught up. You know what's funny? There's also this place um, that we used to go to. It's like a college town. And they have this like restaurant where they sell their, these infamous cheese ball things. And they're really good. Um, and they had this place where it's like a little. They have this like really, really nice consignment shop, whatever. That sells like really nice jewelry, but they also have this like small place where they had palm, like tarot cards and stuff like that. And I got my my t a tarot reading once, and I got my palms read. A very interesting experience. I can't remember what was said and stuff like that, but it was it was an interesting experience.
just say that my friends have officially left so i'm very sad like i literally already miss them so much they're already planning to come back in may so i'm super excited they're even like oh my god we should like move here so i don't know boo-boos but i've just had so much fun i just don't even like have the words to express it i just genuinely needed this and i don't know now i just feel like rejuvenated and i just feel really really good and just happy and i can't wait for them to come back also got to celebrate um you mean the one friend that was actually is actually your mom's friend girl where are these people my mom's 55th birthday so she's 55 i literally love that for her well no she turns 55 on the 7th but we celebrated it and my friends did some like first like we went to bingo we went to the casino so there was like a lot of firsts for them to discover so that was super fun if you guys hear my washer in the background um excuse that but so this is supposed to be the um palm reading this is the palm reading for my past life and supposedly i was a siren and i hopped on a lot of different ships and i had two husbands i had a daughter i was like okay queen pop off and then this was supposed to be my life now all of this looks like gibberish to you guys your ears are just looking at lines and circles but every single thing that the woman said to me like every line means something so i stare at it and i see something different than what you guys stare at but it was or she's so not gonna accurate. tell us like, i was shocked and that is an experience that everyone should get to experience oh Riddle, you're such a baby girl of course she's not going to tell us what the the, the trajectory of what their what her life is gonna end up as so yeah so i'm doing some laundry these are the sheets that my friend slept on on the couch so i gotta clean those as well yeah the Sit kitty cat yeah it was i know so this is a pretty short weekly vlog i don't think that they're all going to be this short it's just i was very busy i really really wanted to focus in just on spending time with the people in my life and just like absorbing that because i knew they were only going to be here for a certain amount of time but i hope that you guys had an amazing week now we have a new week starting i just love you guys so much i hope that you're doing amazing and i'll see you guys in my next video which will be wednesday weigh in so oof i wonder how that's gonna go we will see anyways i love you guys so much bye see you in my next one I'm not buying what she's selling. I'm really not, you guys. But what do you think? Is the, uh... The whole friend thing... Is it is it real? Or is she just putting one on? Because I, I don't know if I necessarily... Believe it. But anyways, um... That is it for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.